inputs about how to maintain good health. So there have been thousands of videos about maintaining good health and what and all you should do, what and all you shouldn't do. It's been like spamming the internet. But then here I'm going to talk about the scientific uh, side of health because what is the definition of health? According to health, it's just not the absence of disease. It is also the presence of social, emotional and mental well-being. So in that regard, you should ask the question, are you really healthy? So I've been talking about this for a very long time, especially mental health and I've been giving awareness about mental health in all spheres. But then you know health is wealth. Only when health is compromised, even in terms of a simple headache or a stomach ache, then you know, oh, I should have eaten good. I should have really done this. I'm so sorry, please, I want my health back. Even for a common cold, we suffer a lot. But imagine if there are going to be major disorders you're going to have, then what is going to be your life? And because you would have decided, you invested, you would have invested in terms of your time and you would have invested in terms of your money and all that stuff. But after all, if your health is not going to help you to, to be really happy, you know, to enjoy all of it, what you have done, and then what is the purpose of it? That's why they say health is the biggest to wealth. And you don't know about it, you're not grateful about it, you're not going to do anything about it unless and until you're diagnosed with so-and-so disorder be it physical disorders or mental disorders, whatever is lost, our health is lost. And with only the health, we can enjoy the very essence and even every small joys of life. Without health, we cannot enjoy it. Just imagine a simple headache. You can't even watch your favorite song. Then imagine about the major health problems which you might acquire. So please, time to take health very seriously. So I'm not going to say that you should do this, you should drink this and all that stuff because I'm a psychologist here. I can, I'm only going to tell you like how you can prevent yourself from getting or acquiring any major health issues, be it poor physical as well as mental with a scientific model that is the biopsychosocial model. We say that anybody can acquire any disorder or disease only when there is a biological, psychological and sociological issues are coming in the one line. You know that the same line I would say and everything comes in the same line then it's there are the pro the chances are high that you might acquire a disorder because you would have heard this multiple times that your your parents would have left this uh, for your asset to inherit to be in a, you know more in a joking way I'm saying in order to the sense your parents may be diabetic or maybe have a BP patients or they may have some mental health disorder they may be schizophrenic depressed suicidal all this leave you with the vulnerable genes of acquiring these disorders and as young as 20 year or 30 year old, nowadays you know the shocking statistic of um, people developing heart attack and all that in their early 20s and also in 30s. So this is really shocking and very surprising that why people are getting into this. We could, you know, blame it on various things, various, you know, the kind of food we intake and kind of uh, uh, social media influence and many things to say. But then let's not blame all this. Let's just take control about, you know, and take the life in our own control and see what I can do so that I don't acquire these kind of disorders, which my parents have left me the vulnerability to develop the same. But one good news is that even the both the parents are diabetic or, you know, the both the parents are having a BP, there are a lot of chances that the children haven't developed it until their death and they had a very, um, you know, healthy life. How is it possible? Sometimes even with the parents who are very healthy, the children could have developed even you know diabetes very young in their life how is that possible so i'm sure that there is a biological vulnerability if your parents are having this and you should be even more responsible for your own life so uh, they say that this lifestyle plays a very major role and it's an undeniable truth our lifestyle predicts our health and, and many of you know that what are the healthy things you should follow and what not every time the instagram you know just gives you loads and loads of advices about what you should do and all that but are we doing it is a big question because we are not being grateful about our health so when i say that 70 percentage of our you know the physician we are 70 percentage of the patients who visit the physicians generally they say that it is the most of the disorders are psychological in nature be it rheumatic arthritis or even you know common cold or even it can be cholesterol or it can be cancer also they say that it is not only the biological reason which had led them to develop this disorder at this juncture in their lives. It is also psychological, it is also sociological in nature. So what if we take care of those other two origins so that we don't let this biology to express itself in, at any juncture of our lives? How can we do that? That is a only very simple thing. So you should just take care of your mental health because physical health and mental health are two sides of a coin. 
and when you are able to take care of your mental health your physical health is definitely taken care of so that's a i would say a hack for you to handle your mental health so that you don't even develop any deleterious disorders in future so how can you do very simple things you can do as i always keep telling again i'm going to tell the same thing that is the three lifestyle practices which you should keep doing it and it is very simple if you could make it part and parcel of your routine that is having healthy food without skipping any of the you know food like you know let it be breakfast or lunch or dinner don't skip any of it because of so called diet practices and all that it is very important it's just that conscious and mindful eating helps you to diet in a more conscious and healthy way possible so eating eating on time and also the full healthy portion of food which is very important for the first prevention step for you to not acquire any disorders the number two lifestyle practices is that having good amount of sleep 6 to 8 hours of sleep at the least starting from 10:30 in the night to 6 to 7 a.m in the morning and uninterrupted sleep and this sleep again and this is the ocean i've talked about a lot and if you're not still convinced and if you think that sleep is not going to help i'm sorry your health is going to suffer very soon in the near future you need if you really don't want any disorders to or diseases to affect you sleep is something which you can easily get into and forget everything so please i can only advise it's up to you to take or not the third thing is exercise i'm not saying like you should run like pt usha or you should go to gym hit the gym for 2 hours per day nothing of that sort just moderate exercise for at the least 4 days per week for 20 to 25 minutes to max 30 minutes will do will take care of your health like anything it can be a powerful barrier for you to not develop any major mental and physical disorder and that's a scientific proven truth again so these three things in the lifestyles you know very well so other powerful tips is also on the way that is the fourth one is about having a good social life and if you look back and you say mom i don't have friends i have just have one friend and i don't have anyone to talk about talk my deep feelings about then that is a big red flag that it's a potential vulnerable vulnerability that you could develop a lot of mental health disorders in future high time you just look into yourself why am i not able to socialize why am i not able to have good relationships so that itself is a you know red flag i should say so please develop at the least one or two or three people whom you can talk to talk your heart out and you know have some people who care whom you can belong to so that itself can be a major shield for you to not develop because social support is a research based evidence based thing which could prevent you from developing any mental and physical health issues so this is something which you should always bear it in mind it's not about the instagram friends or followers it's about the real time social life which you could get and taking break and first because we are after all humans even you know even remote controls everything needs a battery and to recharge even a cell phone everything needs a break and as a human being if you're going to work continuously without a work life balance uh, systems everything is going to i mean it's going to de- deteriorate so what you have to do is replenish them you just have to take care of your body by giving it proper rest that's why i told in one way about sleep and also about a- engaging in healthy pleasures go for a vacation go for at least twice a year or thrice a year go out with your loved ones or friends at least just go out and have that much needed break away from all the stresses of life that itself will give you again a uh, you know lot of uh, replenished way to come back and do your work because this is one essential way of de-stressing because your body is full of toxic things with all the stress and hustle bustles of life right from the morning till night and if you're continuously doing and you're going to expose yourself to this stressful life then it is going to be really a problem so please take a break the next thing is develop a hobby you should really start having some hobby it's not okay my hobby is sleeping my hobby is just work no you need to develop some hobbies where you can just come out of your real you know the personality with which you're going to interact with people and bring out your child there you know you can you can take either take it a music or a dance or a drawing painting anything of that sort just 10 to 20 minutes or 30 minutes per day you have to take some personal time off for yourself and pursue that hobby if not every day at least once or twice a week this practices can take a long way for your healthy life so just think about it and also taking up some kind of sport or you know like a table table tennis or a badminton or a zumba dance or a yoga or anything of that sort where you could uh, give some workout to your body as well as to your mind and be in rhythm and just forget yourself forget that i'm this person and that person just forget your identity and just be your original self 
so these are some of the very very basic things and definitely not a tough thing i've said in any form like you know you should uh, crush all this nuts and have or you should have all this juice or you should have this kind of food nothing even poison you can take it can digest if it's in a positive state of mind is what i believe in because mindful eating is all about being there in the situation and also being mindful is a one last powerful tip i'm going to uh, leave it in front of you to really reflect on your life and see that you don't regret any point of your life that i haven't done it and i am here in my dead bed or i am here losing all my health because of which i have to take a big break please don't go to that corner of your life just follow these very simple things make it a part and parcel of your habits then you need not even go to any kind of appointment with doctors or even psychologist or to anyone for that matter you can just be enjoying the beautiful life that is gifted to you hope this biopsychosocial model makes some sense to you and even your parents are going to leave you with vulnerabilities don't worry if you follow these things you can still be shielded and guarded against any mental health physical health disorder like mental like a physical health disorder mental health disorder definitely also again leaves you with so much of agony i've seen people the family entire family members suffer in pain and uh, you know very negative emotions and in lot of loss of productivity loss of wealth loss of lives so we, if you want to really prevent you from any of these things you just got to practice these very simple things if you find that this is doable practical and useful please to share this video to as many as you can and do subscribe to my channel i'll catch up in an at another interesting and useful video as always thank you catch up with you again bye